Welcome back for another view of the reporting capability of Logbook Pro. In this video, we're going to take a look at the advanced reporting options. The very first thing I'd like to show you is with my favorite report again, the Jepson style, is this option here uh, for a cover page. The, this came out of the request where people want their printed data from Logbook Pro to be laid out the exact same way as a uh, paper logbook. That is, your date column, etc., is your left page, and then it flows from left to right. So as you're looking at an open book, you have a page on the left and a page on the right, representing your entire flight from left to right. This was a problem where, traditionally, your first page it prints out, and then if you're running a duplex option, you're going to end up with the front to back. Our workaround for this was to shove in a cover page. The cover page allows that page to be printed first, then, and again we're talking about duplex, you know, front back printing capability here. Your cover page comes out first, and then on the back of that is your first page of the log, then the next page is the second page of the log. So now we have our open book printing method for the proper duplexing layout. So the reports that allow this are the Jefferson style reports and your MGO Ent reports for the leather log book solutions. Those are the only ones that allow this cover page and uh, this layout. You can have Logbook Pro put in its normal cover page. You can have Logbook Pro print you out a blank, a blank cover page so that you can actually run it back through a printer, put your own logo or your own design on the front of your logbook. Or you can like to have no cover page. When this occurs, with no cover page, we have an additional option. We can print the normal two-page layout which is bindable, or what we can do is take away the gap that is between the left and right sections of the printout. That gap is required to force the uh, two-page printing option uh, based on the report engine we use. But some people have actually requested that we take away that gap so the left and right sections actually butt up against each other. They take and print that to 8.5 by 14 paper, or specify the paper is 8.5 by 14, which now causes the display, and we'll, we'll run through an example here if you're not following me, now allows the printout to be on one page. They export it to Acrobat Reader PDF file, then go into Adobe Acrobat and print their logbook from Adobe Acrobat with the fit the page option on large paper. So uh, pretty neat what, what people uh, come up with. They're pretty uh, ingenuitive in getting their logbook into a uh, output that they so desire. Let's take a look at the normal cover page option first. And then we'll look at these other options. As you can see, we'll go to the whole page. Whoops, I missed again. Let's try one more time here. We've got the whole page option where it's going to say Logbook Pro Professional Pilot Logbook and then the name that you specified in the options, user info. Again, a good reason that we need to have that information and then the next page becomes the left-hand data. The red is a page break. This red dashed line is where the page is going to break. Don't worry about how it looks up against the right edge. This is just Logbook Pro's way of getting the page laid out properly for printing. It's going to print out just fine. And then the right-hand data. This is the gap that I was uh, talking about just a minute ago. We have the option of making this gap go away to where we can have the left and right side butt up against each other. We'll show that option. But the important part here is that we have a normal cover page. Let's run this report again. This time we'll go with a blank cover page. And as you can see, when we go to the whole page option, nothing there, so you can actually run that sheet back through your printer if you so desire to put your own information on the front of that for those of you that have the creative touch. We still have the gap here and I just exited the program by accident. Hang on a second, we'll bring Logbook Pro back up. And the next thing we're going to look at is the no cover page option, but I'm going to show you what happens when we take out that gap. My favorite report, the Jepson style layout. We'll use the default date, no cover page, and then we're going to take out the gap.
Now, as we look at this report, we're going to see that there's the red page break right through the printable area of my report. This is no good. We can't have that. So what some of the creative Logbook Pro users have done, they've gone into page setup. They say, give me, I believe it's legal. Now let's set our margins down, 0.5. And now we have set, no, where is it, uh, maybe it's executive, I'm not sure, the 8.5 by 14, let's go 8.5 by 13, I think it's close enough. And left, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5. Point 0.5. Let's see what we end up with this run. Nope, that didn't work either. Whatever they're doing, they're getting a 8.5 uh, by 14. Um, so it fits on a single page. Export to Acrobat Reader, PDF. And then they take it into Adobe Acrobat, and they manipulate the report from there. So pretty crafty. Very uh, smart thing they do. Let's take it some of the other. take a look at some of the other report options here. Within Logbook Pro, you have the ability to create your own templates. So let's do that. Let's create our own custom Jefferson style layout. We'll go into the template, template builder. And if you don't have any templates built, it's going to prompt you that, hey, we need to uh, create a new report template. So let's go ahead and do that by clicking New Report Template. My new report. And now what we can do is we have the layout here of the template of the Jefferson style layout. Uh, many of the frequently asked questions are, can I remove any of these columns? Can I hide any of these columns? Can I resize the width of any of these columns? And the answer is no to all of those. The template system allows you to change the source data field, change the caption, and change the formatting of each column. So maybe you don't want this to be rooting. Well, you want it to be root. You can change the column. You can change root of flight, my root, whatever. You can see how we're actually designing the report to say what we want it to say. If it's to use the default root field, then you can leave it blank or select the target data field, which is root of flight, or you can have it be a different uh, data field. We'll use solo in this example which is already a column on this report, but for the uh, sake of this demonstration, I'm just showing you how we can customize this template to what we want. The uh, data alignment typically is left aligned. We can change it to right or center aligned. We can change the font. There's the header font, and that applies to all of the headers. And then the row height. Some people ask for a specific number of rows on their report. There are two ways to uh, do this. One, we can set a manual row height, or if you're using a larger font, you're going to want a larger row height, and you're going to have to experiment. Or, <clears throat> what I suggest is when you run your report, go into page setup, and adjust your top and bottom margins, which will affect the number of lines, the number of rows on your report. And you can see here, when you select a specific area, you'll get notes on the bottom here, some helpful hints of what this partic particular item is, what's going to happen if you change the information. When the data field, you can actually, if you have custom defined fields configured, they will show up and you can actually build a report that uses your custom design fields. So let's take a look. Here we've actually told the system to put RA in this field. All right, and let's bring this column header back to 8 bold. And there we have our system. You can see this double break is where we're going to have the break between the left and right side of the, uh, of the report. So you can build a custom report to your liking with a Jefferson style layout 
and you can see there's the RA and the value, my root, etc. So a uh, handy system here to uh, tinker with Logbook Pro and have it display the information that you desire. All right, let's look at one more advanced feature of the reporting, and that is the report combiner. The report combiner allows you to run multiple reports and have them run as one output solution. We can save the reports that we uh, option. Uh, maybe we want a report that contains our certificate, our ratings, our history, group by event, and a logbook Jefferson style report. We'll uh, well, yeah, we'll run this and see what happens here. But we can actually set the cover page orientation to match our report. Probably landscape is best for the cover page orientation. We will actually save this preset to my standard output. And we can actually call that up later. We can uh, create new presets. So as you set the number or the different reports that you want to create into one solution, you can save that setting as a preset, and just by clicking your preset, you can have that option available. You can actually reorder the, the uh, reports as well as to what order uh, they're going to run. So let's go ahead and we'll use all data on this one. Let Logbook Pro run its magic and provide us a combined report solution with the reports certificates, ratings, history group by event, and the Logbook Jepson style with all the data. So based on the thousands of records, it could take a little bit of time, not bad. You can see here the uh, information we provided. There's our cover page in the landscape layout. And then our next page should be the certificates, followed by the ratings, followed by the history, group by event. We'll zoom in a little bit so you can believe me. And then we get into our logbook. How about that? So we have now created a grouped solution using the report combiner. So uh, pretty handy capability. So in this video, we took a look at some of the advanced options of the reports. We looked at the cover page options for the Jeppesen and NGON style reports, the ability to create a single page layout, if you will, by removing the gap, which is only possible if you elect no cover page, then we looked at the uh, ability to create custom templates with the uh, report designer, which is available in the Jeppesen and MGOINT report system. And then what we just looked at was the report combiner capability. So as you can see, Logbook Pro has got an outstanding report engine capability. Many reports are pre-built for you and lots of great information, more than you probably will need. So, uh, and you also have the capability of printing directly from your data entry area as well. So when considering a report output solution, not only can you run your normal reports using the typical report engine, but you can print directly from the data entry area, which will capture your layout, your sort, your formatting, etc. Hope you enjoyed this video and learned something in the reporting engine capability. Thank you.